Oh, good morning world. I love waking up to the sounds of new payments coming in and money from my business going over to my bank account. It just feels like earning money while you're sleeping. Hey, it's Timmy here from Rad Yard. What can I do for you? Oh, yeah, you're interested in our boards. That's awesome. Nice to hear that. So, what did you thought about? Okay, yeah, we do boards for brands and... Yeah. And I love those morning calls when the orders are rushing in and the clients just keep asking for new boards. Everyone wants a board from Ride Your Art. Yeah, great, great. Okay, yeah, I'm sure we'll find some cool designs for you. Yeah, thanks. Great to hear from you. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Ciao. There are so many requests of our boards that I even need to sell my own boards that I used to hang in my office. Oh, wait. I think that was someone else's morning. Might looked more like this one. Ah, good morning world. I love waking up to a sound of a message from a friend of mine who wrote me that my website broke again. It looks like shit now. And I don't know why. I don't know how to fix it. I'm just thinking to myself. Huh, why does this always happen to me, man? Okay, getting up to this notification is definitely not easy, but let's see, maybe the computer has something better for us. Maybe some new orders, or some requests, let's see, let's hope for the best. Okay, that does not look so good. All the products are in the shop, none of them is going a number down, that means no orders coming in. And not even a single mail. Uh, but maybe some have visited our website or joined our newsletter. Let's check these numbers. Okay, it hasn't been growing for a month now. Newsletter is still at amazingly six members. And yeah, one is my dad, one is my mom, and one is my girlfriend. Yeah, and one is me actually. And yeah, these cuties aren't going anywhere. So, hey everybody and welcome to the fourth episode of the journey to my own brand. So, yeah, there have been a lot of things going on since we started. And yeah, actually I started with this business in the beginning of 2020. And yeah, there have been some amazingly awesome moments and also some down moments. Let's get into this. So, have you, as you have seen in my intro, the selling, the sellings are not on a very high level, but that's okay because we just started this year and it has been going on for what is it, nearly three months now. So the shop's online for three months, and yeah, we have got one sale through the shop, one sale through Instagram and I think that's amazing. I think that's actually a pretty good start because I haven't been investing too many money or too much time into creating ads or yeah, just actually making some ads. I spent a few euros on Google ads but this is not the optimum which I want to do because I yeah, I want to get more into the Facebook ads to build a little Instagram community and yeah, all this stuff. So there are a lot of things to do. So, but today we are going to take a look at those things that we can improve in the next time without spending too much money to get a few more sales. Because I have an inventory of yeah, 12 boards right now and yeah, so I want to sell them in the next time. and. Yeah, because I want to build new one. This is my passion and I don't want to spend money on 
the materials for the new boards without having any sales coming in. So that's the way I think right now. Maybe it will change in the future if we get some more sales and build a little bigger inventory. But right now this is where we stand and yeah, what we want to do. So the first thing is we want to create a Facebook ad. As I told you before, I want to start using Facebook ads, just um, advertising on Instagram to get more customers to our business, get more customers to our website and also to our Instagram so that people see, oh, there's a brand that builds balance board like this, awesome. I need to follow them. Maybe they make something amazing which I want to buy. And I think that's an awesome way to do an Instagram because the people don't just visit your website and then forgot about the, uh, about the brand again. They also with, can visit your Instagram site, can follow your site and get the news. Just, yeah, every time we post something, they hear from us and see that our brand is still alive. And I think that's a good way to promote a small business. And therefore we will let Fiverr do its magic and create a little Facebook ad for us. And yeah, that's, this will be the first time that I ever used Fiverr or I ever yeah, ordered something on Fiverr. But I think this is a great way for small businesses like mine to get started and get a little advertising clip because this can be pretty expensive if you let this do from a big company and yeah, I think everyone knows that. Then the next thing that I want to do is to build out my newsletter. I have already talked about this in the intro and yeah, it nearly looks as bad as I told you in the first two minutes. Whew. I have got around about 12 followers on the newsletter and most of them are friends of mine. So I thought about making something like a pop-up on my webpage so when people are like for around 30 seconds on the website or just scroll a bit down then whoops there's a pop-up and people can write their email um, to me and make something I don't know I just need to, to think about this a little bit more maybe a discount or a giveaway so I just give away one board for yeah all the emails that I get from the newsletter and then I will pick a winner I think that's a good opportunity because if I just tell the people yeah follow my newsletter and no one wants to get yeah advertising and stuff like this but yeah I'm planning on making the newsletter more like a yeah, just getting information of the brand, some behind the scenes things and how the board is built and just release some more information of my personal brands and yeah, of Radio Art of course and yeah, just provide them a little deeper look inside our company, small company, yeah, and just to get them a little bit closer together. And yeah, sometimes in the future we will get a big new thing for our company and that would be a laser engraver. So currently we are yeah, making our cork rolls just with a stamp, so a color stamp. We stamp the logo on our cork rolls and with the laser engraver we can really burn those yeah, letters inside and it will last forever and look yeah, just better than this and we'll also get a little bit leveled up from the quality and yeah I am pretty excited to this thing to arrive and test it out and we can also build another uh, make another product not only the boards that hang on the wall we can also make some freestyle boards or just more freestyle boards we can do them just wood and with a little engraved yeah, logo or object in the wood surface and I think this will look pretty awesome. I'm just so hyped for this thing to arrive and test it out and create some new products, maybe some for a little bit less the price of our current board, but we will see. So, and yeah, with these boards which I'm planning to make, then I want to build some sort of a team 
of team riders and where people at first my a few friends of mine who are into the board game and who are maybe skating and can do some cool tricks which I don't can and we can create some content together and have a bit fun together to yeah, create content for Instagram, the web page, shoot some pictures or even do some funny clips for TikTok because yeah, I'm actually pretty into the TikTok game right now because I think this has a huge potential to get some people yeah, to our website and interested in our brand because TikTok you can reach a huge amount of people with less amount of following and that's awesome but yeah I haven't achieved this so far I have uploaded some videos which I told you in the last episode but yeah I think that's also stuff you need to learn and you need to get the right content up and to reach the right people and I think that's also a pretty big learning game but yeah we will keep doing keep posting keep creating and keep uploading and that's all we can do right now to yeah get some more awareness for Radio Art and for the brands and yeah maybe the sales are going up in the next time in the future I hope so I work for this and we will see so in the next episode we are definitely going to improve all those things which I talked about right now because I think these are the most important things to improve to get some more sales or some more awareness to our brand and build a little bit of an Instagram following, a little, a little fan base of people who like our products, who maybe have their own boards and support us as a brand. And I think this is the start of an awesome journey. I can't wait to get some boards out to the people who want to have one who want to buy one and yeah I was just so happy with the first sale from the website this was just such a big moment for me when I get the mail you have got an order I was like oh man this can't be real this was just my heart went <laughs> and yeah so thanks a lot for watching this video I hope you liked it see you in the next episode and if you like this video you can leave me some thumbs up or follow this channel for new videos. So thanks a lot, bye bye and see you in the next episode.